Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about intents, which is another unique concept of Android development. And you will learn how to use those intents to start a new activity. So I will show you how we can create a new activity class from scratch and start it. There is actually a shortcut in Android Studio that will allow us to do all those needed things at once for us. But I think it's important that you at least once see what you need to do to add a new activity to your app. So this first time we want to, we will do it from scratch and then I will show you how we can actually speed that process up and create activities much easier. So let's start by going into your um, activity main.xml file and drag in a button because I want to start our new activity when we click on that button. Let's constrain that button in the center. So click on those two bars here horizontally in parent and another time for vertically in parent. Then let's jump into our XML layout editor and change the button ID to button open activity and I'll change that text to click me. Then let's start to create a new layout file for our next activity by going into your app folder res and layout and then right click on layout new and layout resource file then this dialog will open and we can choose a file name for our activity layout file and i will choose activity second because this is our second activity and this is basically the naming convention for activity layout files that you start that with activity followed by an underscore and then the name of your activity. I will also set the root element to a constraint layout and then simply press OK. And this is our new activity layout file. Here I just want to drag in a text view, constrain it horizontally in parent and also vertically in parent. And I want to add a button that is used to go back to our first activity. I will constrain this horizontally in parent two, and I will constrain the top to the text view bottom and the bottom to the parent bottom. Then I will go into our text editor here to change the text view to um, welcome to second activity, change the text size to 30 SP and I will change the text of that button to go back and also the ID of that button to button back. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a Kotlin class for our just created activity. So actually we didn't create an activity, we just created the XML layout and now we want to create that activity by creating a Kotlin class just like we have it here for our main activity. So to do that, go into your Java folder, come and then open your um, app package. And inside of that folder, in my case, it's the tutorials folder, right click new Kotlin file or class. Then you can choose that you want to create a class here. And I will call it second activity. In this case, if you want to create a Kotlin class and it's an activity, then the naming convention is like this, that you first name it with the name of that activity followed by activity. So then press OK. So now we have that empty Kotlin class called second activity. And just as we did it for our main activity or just as Android Studio did it for us, we need to inherit from app compat activity. So let's go into our second activity and tell Android Studio that we want to inherit from app compat activity and make sure to call that constructor. And then we can go into here and write on create because we want to overwrite our on create function. And there are actually two implementations of that on create function. One is with saved instance state and with persistent state. We don't want that option. We want that option only with saved instance state. 
So make sure to select that one, press enter, and Android Studio will insert that function. And if you take a look in that main activity, then we need to call that set content view function here to tell Android Studio what layout file belongs to our activity. So let's call that function here, set content view. And our just created layout file has the ID r.layout.activity second. But for now, we only created that activity class, but we don't start it yet from our application. And we want to be able to click on that button in main activity, that click me button. And when the user clicks on that button, then we want to open that second activity, which we uh, just created. So let's go into that on create function in main activity, make sure it's main activity now and write button open activity dot set on click listener. And inside of that on click listener, we now can start that second activity. And how are we going to do this? To start an activity in Android, we need an so called intent. You can think of an intent as an intention to do something, we can define an intent to tell the Android system we want to perform a specific action. And in our case, that specific action is to start our second activity. And actually, we can do much more useful stuff with intents than just starting our activities. But this is something for the next videos. In this case, I will define an intent like this, just write intent. And you probably have to import that. So make sure this um, intent is underlined and then simply press Alt plus Enter to automatically import that intent. And inside of that intent object we want to create here, we have several ways to do that. And I will choose this one here, which needs the package context and a class. If you don't know what the context is, then make sure to watch my last video about toasts and context. Um, in this case, we just need to provide the context here, which we can refer to with this, because we are inside an activity class. And then we need to provide the class of the activity we want to open. So in our case, that's second activity. So we don't need to create an instance of that second activity. Instead, we just need to refer to the class second activity. And we do this by writing second activity. So that the class name followed by two colons, and then class.java. So in this case, we just define an intent with our current context of this main activity. And we define it so that we open the second activity with it. So by doing this, we create an instance of an intent. So we tell Android, we tell our Android system that we have the intention to start our second activity. But currently, we only have that instance of that intent, and that does nothing. We need to call dot also on this to um, actually start an activity with it. That also function is a scope function of Kotlin. And when we call this, then inside of that block, we can refer with it to that created intent object here. So that is just a very smooth way to start an activity in Kotlin. Inside of that block, there is a function start activity. And you can see that function takes an intent here. And that is exactly the function we want to use here. And as I told you, we can refer with it to our intent object here. So we can just write it in here. And this is enough to actually start our activity. So whenever we click on that button open activity, we create that intent. And we also start that activity with it. And when we run this app now, and click on click me, you can see that our app crashes. But why is that? So we, cr we created a layout file for our activity second, then we created a class for our activity second or our second activity. 
And we also set the content view to activity second. But we are missing one thing. And if you watched my previous tutorials carefully, the tutorial about my Android Studio round trip, there I told you that we need to define different components of our app in the manifest. So if we take a look in that manifest folder here, double click on that, then we actually need to define our second activity in that manifest file. And we do it by going into that application tag. So after that, first tag closes here. And as you can see, here is already our main activity defined. And we need to define our second activity here. So open a tag and write activity. And Android Studio will automatically suggest you to enter an activity here. And in our case, this is second activity. So just press enter here and close that tag off. And when we now run that app, it should work. So let's now click on that click me button. And now you can see our second activity opens. And currently we don't have the option to go back because we didn't provide an action for that. Let's actually change that. Go to secondactivity.kt. And here we can add an on click listener to our button back. Button back dot set on click listener. And that is a really simple function to um, kill our current visible activity that is just finished without any parameters that will just clear our um, current activity from the activity stack. If you don't know what the activity stack is, then watch my video about activities and their life cycle. So when we now run that app again and click on click me, then we can go back by clicking on go back. And we can also go back by clicking on that back arrow here that has the same effect as the finish function. And as I told you in the beginning, there is a much um, shorter way to create an activity without us needing to create that separate layout file, that separate activity class and to define that activity in our manifest. So to actually make that much shorter, we can go to our tutorials folder here right click new and you can see that Android Studio has many um, templates basically here. If we hold on to activity, then we can create an empty activity here. Click on that and I will name it a third activity. And you can see we can check that option that we want to generate a layout file. So Android Studio will automatically generate that and you can see that it automatically chooses our correct naming convention for that layout file that we write activity at the beginning followed by an underscore. Make sure the source language is Kotlin and then we can simply click on finish. Then Android Studio will um, create all those files that are needed. It will automatically define that activity in the manifest. So if you click on our Android manifest, then you can see it inserted our third activity here into that manifest. And it also created the activity third XML file here. Double click on that, which is just an empty layout file here. So we can drag in a text view, constrain it, and change the text to third activity. And we need to provide a button in our second activity to actually start the third one. So go to activity second XML. We can drag in another button here. And let's make it on top of that go back button. Constrain it and change the text of that button to start next activity. And I will change the ID to um, button next activity. Then we can go into our second activity.kt file to set the on click listener for that button. So button next activity dot set on click listener. Now we define our intent again. We need to import it. So press alt plus enter. Refer to our current context with this. 
and we want to open the third activity dot um, class dot Java dot also and inside of that also function we write start activity with IT so with our just created intent object here and if we now run that app we can click on click me when we are in the first activity then the second activity will open and we can click on start next activity so the third activity will open and here we can click back to go back to our second activity and here we can click go back or on that back arrow to go back to our first activity. So this is everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope everything got clear. If not, then don't mind asking your questions in the comments so I can answer them. If you like this video, then please give it a like and comment below what you think about this and also if there's anything I can improve on that would be really helpful for me. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.